Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. And here come the visitors. For our visitor's centre. I, You know what, I think I should have another visitor's centre over the other side. But I've got that one there. I think we're going to need another one for Supermax. And we can have that for Supermax only. Right, I'll do that. And I do a quick build right now, and I'm going to copy that right there. And this one is going to have the different kind of wall on it. I'm going to bring that one down here. If I rotate that round, that will actually fit right in there, except then I don't have a door for my toilet block, which is a slight problem. I can put that one down there. Yep, yeah, that would be absolutely spot on perfect, being able to put that there like that. I could bring it up like that, I guess. But then I haven't got... So I, I don't like this crowding the entrance a little bit too much. So I will do it like this. I will bring that one in like that. And then I've got a prison door on one side. I've got this one on the other. Because like, over here, they come in through that bit, don't they? So that's what we'll have to do on here. We'll have to put them... Oh, no, they, they can come into the main prison, I guess. They can come into the main prison, and they will walk down through that bit there. Right there. That's where that one's going to go. Just there. And I will go flooring. We will grass that bit out right there. And then I will also do the same over here. Grass out that side of it. And I'll leave the rest just for now. Let them keep building that. Because I've still got a huge number of trees. I needed these trees to be removed. And I wanted to get all of that done all in one go. Because this is obviously, it's like a time-consuming bit. And it's a little bit dull to wait it out. Now, what have I got in the way? Staff morale is up to 77%, which is a lot better than what it was. Uh, staff in here. I got 100 workmen. Let's have another 20. 25. 125, I think. Would be good. Yeah, what are we up? 116. 120. 3, 4, 5. There, I've got 125 workmen. Extra 25 going into there. That should help the little situation in here. There we go. Look at them. They're already in and they're already working. They're keen as mustard, these new guys. Absolutely keen as mustard. Look at them go. Some of the other guys have just sort of given up, haven't they? That's, that's what's happened. Is that they had work to do and then they've just kind of given up on the job. I don't know what sort of pattern you're working here. But it seems to be a bit sort of haphazard all over the place. You're getting there. There's a few of them working in here. I've got quite a number. I think a lot of them are working down here on these trees. And getting rid of them. And then I've also got workmen scattered around all over the prison. They will have prioritized doing those tunnel. Actually, the tunnels were over on there this time, weren't they? They will have prioritized doing the tunnels. And then we've still got workers having to do maintenance with things in here. Um, repairing different bits. Uh, stuff like that. So I've got criminally insane there. They're busy pushing some of these laundry baskets around. But do they actually take the laundry baskets up here? Or do laundry baskets get taken to a set crossover point and then swapped over between different um, people? Like, do, do some of the staff come and take over some of these or what? Why are you taking your breaks in these offices? This isn't for you taking your breaks. That doesn't make any sense. Why are they coming in there? Um, reports, programs... Workshop safety induction. We've got that one still running. Kitchen safety and hygiene. I've still got, I've got 20 people interested in there. Carpentry apprenticeship. Two people have passed out and I've got four interested qualified. Foundation education. People are working on that one. Uh, general education. One interested. I've got eight people have passed that one. Behavioral therapy is not that one. No. And then I've got the pharmacological treatment of drugs. That's not doing anything at the moment, but we'll leave it. It can do what it needs to do. Alcoholics, group therapy, guard, tasers. Yeah, parole hearing, spiritual guardians, psychiatric consultations. I got those right there. 
29 in queue, 10 until 11 a.m. each day for those. Uh, so obviously there's none running right now. But it still seems to go. Deaths. Yeah, I know. We're, we're constantly having deaths to deal with, but there's nothing else I can do about those. Uh, yeah. It's just literally is, is waiting this out. I think I can... Un there isn't a lot else I can do with the prison at the moment, apart from wait this bit out, is there? So we'll do that for a second. Oh, this is another thing. We have now got... We've got these prisoners being brought in. Because there was a queue of trucks coming in, they've not actually made it in properly. So we'll go back to intake over here. And I'm now going to close the criminally insane. And we will open... Uh, those two, once again, so they can start bringing people in. And if we have a look in here, maximum security is down a little bit. But criminally insane, I've got space for one additional in there. Eventually, um, I imagine that there may be some more brought in. Um, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, some of them will sort of cycle through, something along those lines. But yeah, I've now got this one filled up to capacity, and I've got $237,000, which is definitely going to help us out. And nothing new seems to be happening in this block. All the other blocks seem to be doing all right. Let's go back to intelligence and more informants. Have we got anybody else that I can... I, see, I've got all of those informants there. This guy right here, right, exp, expert fighter and strong... Could I break him? Could I leave him permanently in solitary until he agrees to turn? That would be pretty cool if I could get him to do that. But anyway, I'm going to activate anybody. You know what? I'm going to activate all of them. Activate all of my informants. There. Little bit of suspicion brought on to them. Little tiny bit. Nothing else seems to happen, and I've still yet to have see anybody assigned over to here. I don't know how you assign people in here. But is it, there doesn't seem to be any way of assigning people into this, because, um, well, I, I, I literally have no idea how it would work. There. Yeah. Right, well, I'll, I'll worry about that later then. Worry about it when I don't need to, you know, right now I don't need to particularly worry about it. We've got a small patch of trees left over there. We've got a small patch of trees left over in this corner. This is starting to look a lot better. We are actually working, like, if you look now, you can see this grid is working through quite nicely. And they've gone and corrected all of the error that I made down that side, which is absolutely fantastic. And then we've just got, like, a few more trees over here. So, yes, it is taking a while, but they are getting their way through it. And then they're lugging all the logs out. They've got to bring them over here, and they've got to put them into exports, and then they get loaded up onto these supply trucks. So workers are also doing that. Then that one goes out. Garbage is loaded up. And then we get some more of these. Why do I not have people just out here working in general? All right, this is a bit that I don't really get. Armed guards. All right, they're exhausted. They're not very happy with life. So maybe I should get some more armed guards. Uh Oh, maximum hired. Okay, I can't have any more armed guards. They're they're not happy, they're exhausted. Do I need to that's the armory. Why are they just hanging around in here? Surely they could move on a little bit. Oh I see, that's the truck driver that comes out and loads stuff up. Some people will come along and help the truck driver, but generally it is just the truck driver. If I had a second export zone would that speed that up a bit? I don't know. This seems to be like quite a big thing here. All these people coming in. Can I do a second exports zone and have trucks coming in as much? Like, they only seem to come from the top down. But i got nobody using this side of the road at the moment. Can I change that? Is that something we can do differently or not? I have no idea about that. Right, if I could have trucks coming up from the top, uh, coming in from the bottom as well. Utilities, logistics, what does that do? Sell status, laundry, food, prison, labor. No, I don't want that. Uh, deployment. 
Um, guards prioritize visitor direction, others direction. Click and drag to paint for to paint floor signage. Patrol. It's not going to be in here. I got orderly patrols there that we could do. Staff, objects, and rooms. Can't imagine it's anything to do with rooms whatsoever. 239 cells. Holding cells. Dormitory. Canteen. And 183 padded cells. Right. No, I'm not really sure what to do about that. Still waiting on one more superior bed for the um for that bit in there. And I got a load of storage over here for timber. And they're bringing some stuff over. We get the garbage brought over. I reckon that once all of those trees have been removed, that's also going to make a big difference. Like, this is nearly finished now. I've got a whole load of logs that just need to be taken out from here. But in general... Oh, no. Uh, uh, well, in general, it's done. We've just got a few trees left up here. But it looks like I've got pretty much a worker assigned to every tree that's left here now. Right, it's, it's coming on that fast. And they're gathering up the logs as well, and they're dropping them down. So log time six, log uh, to do, move to workshop. Um, so they are. They are very quickly working through the rest of all of these trees. Everything down the side there is looking now absolutely grand. Exactly how it should, how we'd want it to. So I'm going to go into flooring. Sandstone. I'm going to put that right there. Then I'm going to go to deployment over here and patrols. And I'm going to put a blue patrol right there on that bit. And I'm going to assign a guard onto that patrol so that he will be able to manage the gate. I'm going to need him managing that gate. And then we've got the visitor center over here. They're also working on this one at the same time as working on the other bits. Utilities. Uh, what have I got left on here? Power station. I've got room on that one. Even if I'd put in another shower block up here, I've still got room on that. So we could do, we could extend that one down and we could use that. And then this one can run down through here. So we'll use this in here like that. And I'll just do a crossways line on that one there. I don't need any water in that visitor's facility. Just need electric to eventually go into there. This is done. Look. No, it's not. I've just... It's got to be finished. There's still foundation in progress. We've got a couple little bits up there just to finish off. A few bits of concrete there. And then there's one block there still to finish. And obviously they've also got to pick up all of these bits of timber. There is a lot of timber being picked up at the moment. That out there doesn't matter quite so much. But look at all this timber being brought in. And this is what's holding things up here a little bit. Although, actually, I've now got all the trucks have gone through. All right, they've actually all gone through. Every single one of them. I've got empty trucks coming in. But these trucks coming in, it looks like they are just coming in to pick up the exports. They're not coming in to get anything else. Nice. We're actually getting through with all of it. This is not going to be completed until every single one of those trees has been removed. And that is going to take a minute or two because I've now got visitor booth and visitor table. Stuff like that is all being bought for in here. That's going to take a minute or two. Um, yeah, they can keep working. We'll let them just work on that. But you know the, the flooring, I suppose we can do that. They've gone and put in the new bits in there. Sandstone, that's going to go... I'll bring that footpath right down to there. And I'll bring a footpath right down to there as well. And then I've got a light... Oops. Light right there. That one's going to move. You cross over to there like that. Footpath all brought in. And then I will go to objects right here. And I will put these lights down through here on each side of that entrance way and then lights down here this is going to sort of be staggered lights which sometimes looks a little bit weird and sometimes ends up looking all right I'm quite sure which way around i want to do it 
Let's put you down here. Uh, yeah, that will go okay there. And then we will put flooring. And we will put sandstone floor right in there like that. Okay. That's looking pretty good there. So those lights got... Oh, wait a minute. I want one with the flooring. What happened there? I didn't mean to click on whatever I clicked on right there. Sandstone flooring right there, out on that side. So prisoners can come in here to the visitor center. And the visitor center is now built. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The only other thing I could do, I suppose, is move that around a little bit. I've got a flag right there. That could potentially be someone. I suspect that's a false flag. There we go. That is now actually done. They're going to go through and they're going to remove all of those bits of timber. So while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm then going to take concrete wall and that's going to hug this edge like this. And I'm going to run all the way down there and I'm going to hug that edge all the way down to there. And that one's going to go like that. So I've got some concrete wall that needs to be built. The whole thing. It's going to take them a minute to go and do that. This visitor center in here. If I then go to deployment like this and super max only. There. Does that stop the prisoners? Uh, does that stop the prisoners family from coming in here? If I set that to super max only. That's one thing I'm not 100% sure of. I will find out. But I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Right, staff only. That's staff only. So is that. So is that. And that one. That one is there. I'm not setting that to staff only. We'll have some workers going in there. This is already set to staff only out here. So I don't need to change that. As is that bit and that bit in there. And also the deliveries and everything out here. So none of that needs to be altered any further. The wall is slowly being built along the top there. And then I've got this. This has now been cleared so that it's ready to go and put in the new yard for the prisoners. However, the yard is... I'm not going to build the yard yet because I want to make sure that this is all set up properly first. As soon as that wall is done, you know, I don't even need to wait for that wall. I can just go here to quick build. And it is going to be the basic cells. Concrete walls in here. This is what we're going with. Just like that. That one's going to go up like that. And then we start putting these along here. This is going to be Supermax. All the way along here. Nothing except Supermax going in here. That one all the way along there. Now, the problem is if they build these too quickly... The big, big problem that we're going to have if they build these too quickly. Okay, I've got no additional room for another cell over there. So I'll put one there. I'm going to undo a few of those. Like that. Uh... Undo another one. Right, and then I'll bring that one over to that side. Over there. Because what I want is a footpath that will come up through the middle of it. There. So it's either... it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a wide path that will come up through it like that. Now, how many have I got in here? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that one. I can't get rid of that one. How do I get rid of it? I want to get rid of this one here. Ah, click on the jail door and remove it, and then it gets rid of it. Um, Go back to the quick build and go to the basic cell. I'll put that one on that side. Oops. Get rid of that one. Quick build. Basic cell. That's the one that I want there. Concrete wall as well. That's going to go into there. So it's quite a wide path is going to be going up through the middle of this one. So it's 
yeah, I'd say it's the right width on here. I'm, I'm happy with that, with a, a wider width on there. Now, this one, I can have a double. I'm going to do a double width on that. I don't think I need to have anything more fancy than that. So you will come along over here. I'm going to put that down to play speed just for a minute. While I lay all of this out. Over to there. And then we turn you round. And I go along here. So that I've got that bit out to there. Right, there's that bit. Now I will go to clone. And I will clone that. Except that it's not cloning it. Well, that's no good. How can I do it if you're not cloning it? Fine. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. So that one's going to have to go down there. And then you come in behind it. Like that. Okay, this is going to be a huge prisoner block. This is going to be absolutely monstrously big. Uh, that would be an ideal place to put it. One, two, so that's got a gap of four, the same as I've got over here. Uh, one, two, three, four. I've got a gap of four on that bit. So I'm also going to want a gap of four on this bit. So if I bring that down, a gap of one, two, three, and four like that, that one will go there. So that door has got to be moved. And then you will go there. That one will go underneath like that. And I either bring that up a bit or I go down even further. I'm going to go, I'm going down even further. So that one's going to go to there. And then that one is going to go there like that. And that's where the bottom end of it is going to be. So we're going to go to foundations over here. We're going to go to concrete foundation like that. And that is going to be... Right, that's not letting me do concrete foundation out to there. It's saying blocked. That's blocked on there. So I will do it. Like that, and then I'll bring that up there, and I'll put that all the way over to there, like that, requires entrance, they will go and remove some of that wall, and they will put a load more stuff up in there. What I've got to stop them from doing is assigning these prison cells to any other prisoners. Well, welcome back. And as I've been saying in all of my other series this week, I have got my new computer. It is now up and running and I am using it and I'm doing things with it. We should be having everything in 4K. It should be nice and clear. It should be clean. It should be wonderful. If it is not, if there are issues with graphics, if there are issues with audio of any kind, then please let me know. I am still working on fine tuning all of the settings. Um, so if there are any problems, if you let me know, I will be able to address them accordingly, I'm hoping. And we can keep things running smoothly. That's what I would like. So at the moment, um, I'm also unsure what is going to happen with the, um, the jerkiness that we have had in here. At the moment, I should be able to monitor it a bit. I mean, I, I will keep an eye and we will see how this works out. I'm still getting a significant reduction in frame rates whilst trying to record. And I don't really know why that would be. We know that there was some issue between the recorder and the game. And both the devs for the game and the devs for the recorder said, well, we, yeah, we, we, we know it's here, but there isn't a lot we can do about it. So it's kind of... Something that everybody said, yes, it's there, but we can't make any changes. Which is not ideal. It's absolutely not ideal. So at the moment, it's telling me I've got a little frame rate counter up in the corner up here. Uh, for some reason, it's microscopically small. It's about the size of that guard. See up in the top corner up here? See the guards up here? Yeah, the, the frame rate counter is about the size of one of their heads. So it's microscopically small. I can't see it either when I've got the list open. I'm actually thinking that keeping the list closed is better. Right? We, we, we got more of the screen. We can see what's going on. Uh, but at the moment, it is hovering around 20 frames, which is a lot better than it was, because it used to, like, jump right down and, and then just, like, freeze up. So uh, we're, we're making some progress. 
Now, the idea is I would like to get all of these cells built so that we can uh, get this uh, moving. Um, I'm kind of thinking that if I was to pause this now, like that, we've got 282,000 right there. And if I was to go and lay out all of the cells in here, every single one of them, put them all out on the ground, right the way down through, I've got a gap in here for three of them. I got brick wall coming in there. I didn't want brick wall, I wanted cold hard concrete wall for this. So I have got that that I'm going to have to go back over, I've got the quick build on here. Um, we're doing basic cell there. Concrete wall, and I changed it to, uh, well, I don't think I changed it to brick wall, but um, maybe I did by mistake. But that one should come down to there, and then we should be able to move that wall down this way a little bit, because that was where I wanted it to go. And then I've got a nice big cell there all the way down through. Thing I've got. Um... I'm going to let it keep going like it is for a minute. And what I will do while I'm kind of doing that, at the same time, I'm going to start putting in some power. So I'm going to run back over here. And now I've noticed that it is, I'm actually getting some little bits of lag in here. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too problematic. We'll wait and see. We'll, we'll see how it uh, pans out. I got no power running on that one at the moment. So I will come over this way and I'm going to run power down from there. Electric cable like that, and it's going to run right down through the middle of this line. It's going to go all the way down to there. It'll only need to go to that point like that. And then I'm going to run it along each of the cells. I'm going to run it along the top part of each cell line like that. I'm going to do a full length of the corridor. So I'm going to go right the way across like that. And then go on up a little bit further. Why have I got three on that one. Oh, that's the doorway. That's why. And it's not. It's four. I've got four on that one. One's quite big. But I did that, didn't I, because of the that's what the, the width of the one up through the center is. So if we, we'll keep them the same, won't we? Um, then we go on up there, and we put that one in, and then we go on a bit further. We put that one in as well, and then we go on a bit further, and we put that one in there. Phase one complete. Now I need to go to pipes. And I'm going to want large pipe through the middle of the cell block. It's the only way I'm going to be able to do this, I think. So I'm going to want to run large pipe down through there, like that. And then I'm going to run that one out over here, like that. And... How far out am I going to take? I'm going to bring that one out over here, and then I'm going to connect that one in over there like that. So that will come down to there, and then it will go over to that side, and it will connect in like that. Nothing else that I need to do on there. I don't know. There isn't anything else I need to do on there, I don't think. Then I can take the small pipe, and this is the one that I want to do. Now, hopefully, that is enough to connect all the way across. So that will go right through there like that. And I don't have a shower in these cells, right? None of these cells have got showers in them. So that one goes there like that. And then this one will also do something similar. And it will just run over to there. That one doesn't actually need to go that far on there. But uh, that's fine. And then here. So I, I'm not needing like a, a second line per cell for a shower head or anything like that which is going to make this job a little bit easier and then put all of them out i'm curious if we've got enough distance on our pipes to be able to fully put all of this in that one doesn't want to go in there i think it auto saved while i was extending it out that's why it stopped Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.